Sam Schreier, maybe not the day to catch that outdoor lunch today. Well, yeah, maybe. it's going to be a little chilly outside. <laughs> so if you wanted to eat out there, I suppose you'd, you don't know, have to have your coat with you. But I just had somebody on Twitter that was like, hey, I'm all about this chilly weather today. So if you were tired of the summer heat, well, today is your day. It's windy and it's a little chilly out there. Not super windy all day, but it will be breezy out of the north. We've got rain this morning through the eastern plains. Plains. But then Friday, we are looking at more rain. It comes in from New Mexico. So it's kind of a question of how north will it go? Will it make it to El Paso County or get washed out through Highway 50? And then I think we get some wraparound showers in Saturday. I'll show the extended forecast just in about a minute or two here. So this morning, rain and just rain showing up across the plains, kind of this fun running band. If this was snow, it'd be kind of a nice little snow band across the plains here, but this is just rain. Although I do see maybe a few uh, flurries right over the top of the southern sand grays there. Rain's a little heavier on the border of Crowley and Otero County, and actually some nice rain from Eads up to Kit Carson. And we have not had a lot of rain, especially like Otero County, Bent County through the last couple months. So this was really nice to see at least some rain in the region. So this, this morning from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m., the model tracked the rain pretty well. And from 6 a.m. to the future here, it shows exactly what we think. The rain will just follow that existing line it's already going on with maybe a little bit of spotty clearing behind that moisture. But the clouds will kind of thicken back up later today. Most of the rain coming in from the south is going to want to absorb into the San Juans and then run up the Continental Divide this afternoon. We could grab a little rain up the San Cristos, but as far as showers and Springs Pueblo go, that chance is real low. And that includes areas like Fremont County and down into Custer County. Temperatures right now, it is chilly in some of the region. Black Forest is 36. 39 towards Monument, 36 into Woodland Park, 40s across most of Colorado Springs, but lower 40s on the north end of town. Across the region, Pueblo, we haven't left the 50s, but it feels chilly under the clouds. It will stay pretty cold out in the plains today. In fact, a lot of the region is only going to be somewhere in the 50s or 60s. The warmest spot is maybe like La Junta and Lamar at 65. It's quite a bit different from where we've been the last few weeks. When we take a look at your extended, so tomorrow we could get Colorado Springs and uh, a little bit of rain in the afternoon and maybe some thunder. But again, that more rain is coming in from the southern border, so it's got to go a long ways to get to us. And we could have some wraparound showers Saturday, but that long term, Sunday through Monday and Tuesday is gorgeous. And it's not just Springs, it's Pueblo. It looks so pretty in the long-term forecast there. Better chance of rain in Pueblo tomorrow. Generally along and south of Highway 50 through the plains, you've got a pretty good chance of rain tomorrow. A few wraparound showers Saturday. Canyon City, we could get some rain, but again, it's got to go all the way up north and then west around the wet mountains to get to Canyon City. So I'm going to give us a chance, but I think it's a little lower chance, to be honest. And then Woodland Park, it's kind of the same deal here. Uh, we got like Pikes Peak in the way of some rain chances tomorrow. We could get it, though. We could get some leftover shower Saturday, but then we have a chance of rain on Sunday and not too bad looking for Monday, Tuesday.